The most common winches available in South Africa are the electrically driven front-mounted winches. More often than not, these are neatly integrated into the front bumper and bush bar combination of the vehicle. This type of mounting reduces the protrusion of the winch in front of the vehicle, which in turn reduces the hindrance to your approach angle. Hydraulic winches have for some time been applied in heavy industry, but these too have found their way into the off-road accessory market. And this, it seems, has caused quite a stir amongst hardcore four-wheel drive enthusiasts who've solely depended on battery-operated electric and power takeoff winches in South Africa. Hydraulic winches, by their very description, work off hydraulic fluid powered by a hydraulic pump. Now, in the early days of development, this meant that a vehicle had to be fitted with a separate pump in order that the hydraulic winch and system could work. This, however, increased costs and made everything rather clumsy at the best of times. Today, however, it's been alleviated by using the existing power steering pump on the vehicle, making the entire winching system an integral part of the modern 4x4. But more importantly, it's had very little or no effect on the power steering unit when used. Electric winches, like this one, obtain their working energy from a 12-volt battery supply found on the vehicle. Most enthusiasts, correctly, have a separate deep cycle battery set up in the split charging mode to power the electric winch. Due to the similarities in profile of both types of winches, there's no need to have separate bush bars and mounting plates made up to accommodate either winch, and there's very little difference in the cost factor when fitting either type. Well, what type of winch should one consider when purchasing such an item? Well, there's no definitive answer. This will depend on the application and needs for the four-wheel drive enthusiast. But there are some important questions and differences that do crop up from time to time concerning electric or hydraulic winches. Electrically driven winches usually have a faster wind-in time than hydraulic ones. In simple terms, the capacity for an electrically operated winch to continuously work on demand is directly proportional to its supply by the battery. When a battery fails to supply the current needed on demand, under extreme winching conditions, say when a vehicle is bogged down in deep mud, then the first noticeable point one finds is the slow turn speed of the electrically driven winch. Eventually the conditions may become so demanding that burnout on the wiring and electric motor may well occur. The electric winch may even come to an abrupt halt. We also found, when a hydraulic winch, used under the same conditions as the electric winch, that the hydraulic unit completed winching in the same vehicle in less time. Moreover, the hydraulic winch in this test continued pulling this old Land Rover out with the line pull on the dynamometer reading 5,000 pounds, whilst the electric winch cut out at 4,500 pounds due to heat and a flat battery. Electric winches are governed by a duty cycle, which simply means that this is the amount of time a winch can operate under over the off time needed for the motor to cool off. And this is read as a percentage. Now this may seem very trivial, but it is an important issue when a considerable amount of winching is expected. A hydraulic winch does not encounter the duty cycle phenomenon. This means that our hydraulic winch will work continuously and therefore no downtime is needed for cooling off of the winch. Some of the issues raised regarding hydraulic winches which access the power steering pump as a source are the effect that this has on the power steering unit. In fact, there's very little effect on the steering under winching conditions and there's very little deterioration either in the power steering fluid. However, when a vehicle stalls, the hydraulic winch won't work as the power steering pump can't maintain the flow rate of power steering fluid. The manufacturers of this particular hydraulic winch can supply an optional brake to ensure better control and safety. The local agents assure the purchaser of a complete guarantee in the event of the hydraulic winch failing or causing damage to the power steering unit. On some high-tech four-wheel drive vehicles with engine management systems, an electric winch which is fitted directly to the main battery can interfere with the computer control module due to the over-demand of electrical current needed to power the electrically driven winch. Generally, electric powered winches don't perform well underwater, but this doesn't relate to hydraulic winches as most of them have a sealed system. 
the PSI needed to operate the hydraulic unit is well within the means of most of the four-wheel drive vehicles with power steering found in South Africa, which means they can be fitted to anything from a Jeep Cherokee to a Toyota Hilux. Some of the safety features that need to be adhered to when using your winch, for example, is using gloves whilst working with a steel rope. It's advisable after purchasing your winch to stretch the steel rope by anchoring your 4x4 to a tree and hooking up the steel rope end to another vehicle. By deliberately and slowly winching in the rope under strain, the individual steel rope strands mesh well into each other. Always keep your winch neatly wound up. By doing so, you may lessen the risk of injury and technical problems that could occur. Placing some form of cover, for example branches, rubber car mats or nylon winch drops over the steel rope when winching in will reduce the whiplash effect should a rope snap, which could cause severe injury. Remember that the speed you are winching in is determined by the amount of rope that is on the drum of the winch. If possible, try to have most of the rope unwound, leaving one complete turn on the drum. You'll find that your winch has much more pulling power. Should you be too close to your anchor source, using the snatch block or pulley will use up some of that excess rope, as well as double up on the pulling power of your winch. In general, the electric winch is a bit more user-friendly in the bush and for boating enthusiasts. It also has a faster unwind and a faster wind-in time when free spooling. When winching out of a difficult situation, the electric winch winds in faster to start off with but may become progressively slow should the task become more demanding. But if you have an electrically driven winch and your vehicle's engine is not running, you may have some battery power available for the winch to free you from a minor difficulty, but don't count on this for too long. Which type of winch you choose is very, very simple. That depends on your own requirements and the applications you're going to put your vehicle to. But not fitting a winch could cost you a lot more in time and money, and at the very worst, could lose you your entire vehicle.